How to use people and get what you need from them. When I was a little guy of about 17, I read a book called The Enemy Called Average by John L. Mason. Like most books you read, I can't remember anything much I learned from this book but one thing stayed with me from the book and that's a simple quote of Charlie Jones. The quote goes something like, you will be the same person in 5 years as you are today except for the people you meet and the books you read. A few years after I read this book, I sat down to make a list of my friends and acquaintances and they are in hundreds. So, why do I make friends with a lot of people? <laughs> well, I connect with so many people because I love to use people for my needs. In this video, I'll explain how I use people to get what I want and how you too can use people to get what you want in life. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now let me start with a personal story that will show you how I use people. So it happened that a few weeks ago, I met a man online. Before then, I've been following his works and I'd wanted to connect with him. Now he came to me by himself and we connected. As my attitude is, a few days after, I gave him a call and honestly helped him out on a few things and he appreciated my contribution. Now we are friends indeed. Just about 3 days ago, I had a little problem and I needed information to get over it. This man happens to be the only person I know who could provide answers and without him, I would have depended on Google search which may not give me the customized solution I needed. I called his phone and that was it. He promised to provide solutions to my problems and I smiled. I've used him and I did so legitimately. Now before you think this is a bad thing, human beings were naturally designed to use one another. In fact, none of us can live alone and none of us is ever independent. Everyone relies on and use other humans. However, some people are very good in the act of using other humans while most people are not good at it. Those who know how to use other humans are those who get whatever they want, the resources to start a business, the support for their movement, the dedication of thousands to fight for a cause. How the companies are built to see how all of these work, let me start by showing you the obvious examples. See the internet. Many people spent several years to invent what we call the internet today but after the internet became what humans could use, individuals like Jeff Bezos, Larry Page, Mark Zuckerberg and hundreds of other giant companies started building their empires on the internet. In essence, without the internet, none of these guys will be as great as they are. In other words, they used the internet. Also think about this, IBM was the biggest computer manufacturer in the 1980s but Bill Gates struck a deal with IBM to sell the software of Microsoft on the hardware of IBM. Both parties used each other. Today, millions of smart people including myself are making tons of money from the search engines, social media and YouTube. For example, I don't own any share in Google and Google had made me more money in the last 4 years than most of my friends ever make working 9 to 5 jobs. In this case, I'm using Google and it's fine. Let's talk about humans. You see, as we are smart enough to know how to use technologies and objects, if you truly want to be successful in life, you must know how to use people to get what you want. This skill is very important because someone somewhere has whatever you may need. All you need is how to get it. So how do you use people? Number 1. Understand that your network will be determined by your network. To start with, most people simply don't understand that they can never grow beyond who they are, who they know. To succeed in life, you must understand that people are gold. People are probably the most important assets you can ever have because real people have real gifts that can change your life. Some of them will give you information, some will give you money and some will give you just a book. Any of these can transform your life speedily so the very first thing you must do if you want to use people is to understand that people are gold. They are to be cherished. 2. Love and honor people 
Many people think that using people means maltreating them. The opposite is the truth. In fact, if you maltreat people, they will never see you from a favorable point and there is no way you can get the best out of them that way. Instead, genuinely love and cherish people. Let them know that you care about them and you are willing to make sacrifices for them. 3. To get, give When you hear, use people, what picture do you see in your mind? Well, probably a picture of someone who dupes another or takes advantage of people. Again, the opposite is the truth. You see, you cannot truly use people by taking advantage of them. The reason why this won't work is because people are very smart. The only way to get the best out of people is to be at their service, first and forever. Now, I'm sure you think I'm out of my senses. How on earth can anyone use people by being in their service? Well, so it goes that the best way to get is by giving and the more you give, the more you get. Don't doubt it, I'm telling you the truth. If you want to get from people, first give. Remember the law of reciprocity. The law of reciprocity says that we humans love to pay back any good we receive from other humans. Pause a moment to think about it. What do you think about that man who gave you a ride three years ago when you were stranded? What do you think about your uncle who was kind to you and gave you a lot of gifts when you were young? What do you think about that your friend who once paid for your hospital bills? For all of these people and others who have done you good in the past, your thought towards them is that of gratitude and debt. You feel that you owe them and you wish there could be an opportunity to repay them and if such opportunity shows up tomorrow, you will speedily repay these people in multiple folds. Again, the best way to get is by giving. Remember the story of my friends I told you earlier? We met, I called him which was a gift, I rendered him a service which he appreciated and a few days after, I needed him to help me. It's just natural that he will be at my service, willingly. This is how I have a whole lot of people in my life. Some of these people are in different industries than I am. Some know a lot of things I don't know. Some have what I can never have. But one thing is sure, I have the key to these people's life and I open it at will. I can call them at any time I need their help and they will help me willingly just because I presented myself as a friend and I'm honest about it. I love them and I'm at their service to help them whenever I have the opportunity to. If you want to be successful in life, you must know how to use other people to get what you need. How to do that is what I've explained in this video. Meet positive people, connect with them. Keep and nourish relationships with them, be at their service whenever they need you and when you need them for anything, open your mouth and they will fill it.